is. Uh, the whole idea of it. <sighs> Mickey. You may not win the voice and you haven't yet. Yeah, that may be so, but... So why are you hesitant? Because what you're suggesting is completely crazy. Oh, Vicky, there are crazier people who do crazier things to get paid. Even less than you. Do you always have to bring it down to that? Oh, yes. Wait. So, what's in it for you? Well, you see, Vicky, I live where the money makers live. And you know, wherever there's money, there's always drama. I know this woman. Okay, I have a large clientele in Lagos, Abuja, and even have friends outside the country. All you need to do is do what you know how to do best. Again, as you know, women have friends that have friends. I, I like to call it um, a network. Hold on a second, wait. Are you saying we're supposed to run this like what, some sort of company? Yes. It's business, baby. <laughs> Does that make you my pimp? Uh. Okay, so... Say I were to agree to this, what's your end? Well, Vicky, um, I am a businesswoman, okay? And this looks like a very good business to invest my time, which I really don't have, and um, my very precious contacts. So, I get 30% out of every deal that we make. Wow, this is crazy. Yes, but absolutely comfortable. I mean, they are drug dealers, they are con artists, they are prostitutes, they are even ritualists. We are not hurting anybody. If anything, we are actually helping them. It depends on how you see it though. But, Vicky, if there's anybody who's at risk, that will be you. Actually looking for any silver, but um, and if you like bright colors, like you can do. Oh no, sorry. You said you don't want anything shouty, so maybe you can do this, something like this. Yeah. I think I like this. It's yeah. Cool. What's your size, man? Let's see. Um, for the one. Uh, no, 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 that's not my size. You no, don't have bigger size of it. Um, not at the moment. Not okay, in stock. I'm gonna try something else. Okay. Maybe you can find something to pick to, to match your, your shoe, like this. I've got a nine trial here. Yes. Ah, uh, you know what? Mm. Let me 
Maybe I'll just come try to drive some other time. Okay, uh, no problem. Thanks. That's fine. So, uh, are you sure I can't interest you in you know, our bag collection? We have wonderful handbags. Hey, this is an MK that just came out. It's lovely. Feel the texture. Feel the texture. Wow. It's nice. Yes. Oh, wow. uh, um, oh, like, do you have a black, a black of this? Uh, no, I'm not right now, but, but I could get a black one I for you. I think I'll love the black of this bag. Okay. But get another color. Okay, no problem. Ah, oh. uh, card. Okay. Do you have any um, Gucci bag or something? Yes, um, but we have it in the store. Okay. You have it in the store here? Uh, no, not in the store. Okay, don't worry, just stay there. Things are coming? Alright. This um just Thank you very much, uh, ma'am. Thank you. Have a lovely day. Please do. Please do come back again, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. close to this okay I'll make do with just a few of these clothes but they're so hard to afford it's like one turkey dress one is 10,000 naira 10,000 naira that's like no no I can't even tell you how much I make it's pathetic but I can't afford it just know it 10,000 naira is not being sold I know some of you are sitting there looking at me like it's just 10,000 naira. It's no beans. I'm bored out of my mind. Some days are just like this. No customers. Or maybe just one customer, which is a good thing, you know. You know, there are days when some women come in here and pick 10 dresses just like that in the blink of an eye five minutes 10 dresses 100,000 hey Jesus <sighs> see this dress see this red dress might not look like much on a hanger but this this is my dream dress and this simple looking beautiful hot goddess dress is 30,000 naira 30 grand for this dress the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want.
coming, I'm coming. Hey. Hey. Look at this one. I even forgot I have a boyfriend, Seth. I called him every day the whole of last week. He didn't pick my calls. He didn't even return it. Now all of a sudden he just shows up on, on, my, on my doorstep. This hot, sunny Saturday morning. I am very sorry, okay? But don't bore holes in my head with your eyes, please. I called you, Andrew. I saw the 43 missed calls. I'm sorry, I couldn't pick up. What do you want? I want you, baby. Look, I'm not a child, Andrew. I know you deserve some explanation. My mom was sick. I needed to take care of her and that put me off. Well, you could have said something. I didn't want to bother you. I miss you. Look, I Andrew, miss you. Andrew I, I don't, I'm not in the mood for this what right now. I'm, I'm doing my laundry. Listen, Leave me. Listen. 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 Oh, wait, so because you're. Who's calling me? Oh, yeah. I miss Hold you that. so much. Andrew. Who is calling me? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Meet my husband! Jesus. Andrew, I know you're in here! Your husband? Oh, Andrew didn't tell you that he's married, right? What? To think I sorted this same issue last week here. And now, you? Andrew! 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 So you are here! Andrew! Baby, I, I can explain. Like, seriously, I, 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 please, please stop. Oh, oh. Your father was here all about this. No oh, repentance. This is your meeting. When did you leave the house? See your lips. You are kissing your head. Crumbles again. Oh my God! How did I? I'm not gonna cry over him. It's not worth it. I'm fine. I'm just worried that you're not. What's going on? This is very unlike you. You've been moody like this for the last three days and... I have such a high regard for this lady. She's such a wonderful human being. Always trying to help other people with their problems. 
So it, it really hurts me to see her like this. I wish I could do something to help. What's going on? I'm fine. Fine. Please. Please turn turn your open sign. What's happening? It's my husband. Oh dear Lord, is he dead? Oh no. I wish you were dumb. Huh? He's cheating on me. What? How? I are you sure? Hold up a second. Wait. Am I the only one that just heard what this woman said just now? Her husband is cheating on her. On which planet? She looks like she stepped off the covers of a fashion magazine. How can a man have a woman who looks like this and he will still cheat? What? <sighs> no, you don't get it. I literally put her on a pedestal. I want to be exactly like she is. She is the epitome of beauty, of grace and poise. The way she carries herself, the way she walks. I talk, and not to mention the fact is she's so sweet. I try so hard to live up to, to, to look like the way she does. Killing myself in the gym every day just to get her long neck. Look, and she does it with such grace. Haba, are you sure? Yes. With his secretary. He's been coming back home late. Claiming that he's working late. Even on Sundays. Sunday. <laughs> you don't understand, baby. Marriages are meant to be forever. I'm, am I gonna keep doing this to myself forever? I can't do this forever, Vicky. Maybe it's because I'm getting fat. Huh? Yes. And even ugly. Maybe. Maybe it's because I... I can't give him children. I don't know, Vicky. I mean, it's always been promiscuous. Can't blame him, though. I mean, he's good looking. I thought that was going to change when we get married. All those promises we made. Everything he said he was going to. I want to find that man and shake him senseless. Please, please don't cry, please. I am so sorry. Please don't cry. Everything will be fine, please. Oh, I'm fine. I'm okay.
What are you going to do? Maybe you should take a trip somewhere, you know? Find some peace and quiet and just, I don't know, clear your head. I don't mind, I can, I can watch the shop in your absence. I want a divorce. Okay, wait, you can't just divorce someone solely on grounds of suspicion. I may not have proof, but I know what my instincts tell me. Never ever doubt a woman's instincts, Vicky. Okay, but you are going to need more than instinct in court. I'm going to divorce him on grounds of infidelity. I mean, thank God we had a court wedding. It's probably the smartest decision I've ever made. I can see she's really pained. But divorce? She's a strong woman. I thought that she would stay and fight for her marriage, but then again, no one deserves to be treated like this. I need to leave this marriage now. I would have gotten a private detective, but that's going to take too long. I need to leave a S.A.P. I don't deserve to be treated this way. Unless I have... Unless I have proof. What is? Just perfect. You are my husband. Perfect spec. You're slim. You're tall. You're fit. You're... I have a proposition for you. This may sound really crazy, but... Um, I want you to sleep with my husband. What? Yes. He can't hurt me like this. I mean, I will not sit around and cry all day. That is so not me. I'm going to hit him and hit him hard where it hurts. His money. I'm going to take half of his money. I, I mean, we signed a prenup that actually guarantees me half of his money. So, yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. He thinks he's smart. He does not even know what smart is. Our friend of God gives me half of his money. Yes. Listen. I need you, I need you to do this for me, Vicky. Please, I, listen. Do this for me and all the women in the world who are in loveless, abusive, insatiable relationships. Do this for us. <laughs> Help us. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no. I'll pay you five hundred thousand naira. Uh. Yeah. I know I look good sometimes. Well, on my good days. Truth is, I've had my fair share of men. They're always lying, promising, and never fulfilling. But I am very pleased <laughs> to finally have this opportunity to pay them back with this one guy. How unfortunate for him. I hope I teach him a lesson. 
I'm sorry to say, but that's exactly what he is. He can't even pretend that he's not stripping me naked with his eyes. You know, I wasn't going to do this until I met him. But now I just want to break him as much as Rookie does. <laughs> oh, thank you for being so generous. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, about the proposal, I have to get back to you on that, okay? Mm. I have to run it by the board mm. and I own the company, but uh, you know how these things work and I have to do it for protocol's sake. Mm. So. I understand. Thank you. So, um, I was going down for lunch, you know, somewhere nice. I was wondering if you would like to come along. Oh, sure. Oh, tell me. Okay. Thank Please. you. I'll see you. I have you to make my weekend fun. That's right. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so, what are you going to do with that kind of money? Judging by the fact that you might just get in front of so. Um. Oh, I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna refer. How are you gonna say? <laughs> you were very direct. Um, well, I guess it depends on what you mean by repay you. Oh, I mean what I mean. I don't take no for an answer. <laughs> oh, this is actually going better than I thought. All right, good idea. And then we'll do some other fun things later. Yes, yes, and you're making me blush. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. No, it's not about the food. You are sweet, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is good. I like it, right? I love it. Mm, so yummy. Hey, okay, you want some of my salad? Thank you. So, what would you like to drink? Well, if you have wine, a glass of wine would be fine. Hmm. I like that. <laughs> right back. Okay.
Cheers. Oh. Oh. So, tell me, does your wife travel often? Yes, she does. Why? Nothing. I'm just. Uh, <clears throat> I'm curious how often you spend your nights alone. Okay. She travels a lot, mm. and I'm always alone, all by myself. Hmm. You're the first woman I'm bringing to my place, you know. Really? That's right. You do something to me, I can't explain it. I have never cheated on my wife. But for you, I'll make an exception. <laughs> Ooh, Mr. M. That's right. I'm flattered. Oh. Well then. Well, do you walk out? <laughs> oh yes. All day, every day, baby. Why don't we um <clears throat> Get right to the yes. yes. Oh, baby, you have my lips all over your lips, huh? You can have it all, baby. <laughs> Ooh, that's nice. Whoa, somebody. I actually did so well, Vicky. I mean, I wasn't expecting you to score so well. I mean, you scored really well in such a short time. I was thinking I would have to give you a weekend or two, but just like that, you do have a body that men cannot resist. Okay, I honestly don't understand this woman. I mean, I thought that she would be cold and aloof towards me, but here she is just calmly just writing me a check like we're having tea or something. I mean, I was just going to ask her about... Goodbye, Mr. 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 What? I don't have to be. No. Please, if it's about this... Listen. That's a check of 10 million naira. <sighs> yes. Okay, I want you to take that and start a business for yourself. I think in turn, decorating would really profit you. And that's enough money. Okay. <laughs> Trust me. If my husband's lawyers find out that we know each other, it will be disastrous. <laughs> <laughs> I I want you to make this our our own mutual secret. <laughs> yeah. Yeah? Yeah, absolutely. So um we're friends? Yeah. Okay, sure. <laughs> hey, this is this this is this is like a real check, like I can cash it tomorrow. Well, Considering where I'm coming from, I have become quite successful. But trust me, it doesn't come easy. Voila! This is how I started my own business. I became a boss overnight. Oh, come on then. Let me take you on a tour of my new baby. Okay, so I know that I've stepped on a few toes and broken a couple of hearts and homes. It doesn't make me proud or anything, but it has secured my future. Come on. Hi. Please, come in. 
Thank you. Uh, Vicky, this is my friend Deborah. Deborah Vicky. Deborah, it is nice to meet you. Same here. Um, Vicky, Deborah's husband is cheating on her. And um, she needs a divorce. And we need proof. My answer is no. Rookie, that was a one-time thing that I did for you because it was you. Listen, Deborah, as nice as it was to meet you, I, you have to forgive me. I, I can't help you. I really can't. but I can't do it anymore. He's, he's careful, but sometimes he gets careless and find a lipstick stain or a used condom wrap or a G-string. And when I confront him about it, he denies it like I am blind or stupid and I've tried, but I can't. So you have got to help me, please. Truly, I sympathize with your plight. I really do. But I'm sorry. I can't help you. Vicky, she's not as strong as I am. Okay, she'd lose it. Maybe even kill herself. Yes. I wouldn't want to have to live with that. I mean, I would not even want you to live with that either. That, that we could help do something and we didn't. Why? Help. Help? I'm going to have to sleep with him. Why are we even talking about this? Because, listen, Vicky. You've worked with me. Uh, no. Correction, I've worked for you. Fine. You've worked for me. And you know me, Vicky. You know my best and you know my worst. And trust me, that is not even Deborah's worst. Her worst is very drastic. I know this because I'm her friend. You wanted to help me. And you did. This might even be your calling, Vicky. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, are you for real? Okay, really. Come on. The girls who do this were even way cheaper. Besides, you have a killer body, Vicky. Why don't you want to use it to get yourself a better life? Yeah, by breaking up people's marriages. Okay, well, uh, if that's how you want to put it, but here's how I see it. You are helping helpless women. This is a revolution, okay? You started this. You started this revolution. And guess what? You are the leader of this revolution. Women in Lagos, Abuja, the entire Nigeria look up to you as the voice against unsatisfied marital homes. Help them, Vicky. 
Fine. Men are dogs. So what? Dogs can be tamed. We are trusting you to tame them. Keep them in check. Come on, Vicky. The girls won't even do this for cheaper fees. I mean, we're going to pay you well. And the best part is that you still earn your respect. Rookie, you studied marketing in school, Abby. <laughs> well, no, am I selling you? Fine, send me his picture. Let me see what he looks like. Right away. Send. He's cute. Mm hmm The cute ones are the worst ones. I know. So, what do you want to do? Okay. Okay. I've taken my fair share of crap from men, so... Let's do this in the spirit of liberation, shall we? Yes! But that's my girl! Yeah, and the money better be good. Of though. course, you trust me, don't you? Yeah, reluctantly. <laughs> well, thank you. I knew I could have miscount on you. Fitness buff. Nice abs. Actually, nice everything. This is gonna be. Mm -hmm. She's just a woman, and she's got her pride. No, oh, yeah. Better not take her. Take her for a ride. <laughs> That was a long one. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, but that was good though. How about I drop you off today? Absolutely. Cool? Yeah. All right, cool. You see, I need a time to get to the hotel room. Bye. Better not take her. Take her for a ride. Um, welcome. Thank you. Here we are. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, Listen, I just, I was thinking, you know, um, if it's been so nice and I just feel like it's rude if I don't, you know, invite you up for a drink or something, if you don't mind. Well, uh, are you sure about that? Yeah, I mean, it's just drinks, right? No, no, she's got a dangerous side on the inside. She brings it out, brings it out, you'll roll and hide. Oh, so beware how you treat her. Don't maltreat her. Oh, she can be sweet as can be.
Oh. I hope you like wine. I'm a wine girl. I sure. opened this a little early in the morning, so... <laughs> So tell me, are you married? <laughs> you see, you ask them a simple question like, are you married? And then they start to stutter. Hey, it's okay. You, you, you can tell me. You, I mean, I don't mind. It's not a big deal. And it doesn't stop you from having me, if you want me. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, I'm actually married. <laughs> See? That wasn't so hard. <laughs> anyway, information passed, received, and we're just going to put that aside. I am going to go take a shower. Okay. If he's a nasty little cheat, I'll know in three, two, one. That's it. I guess I was hoping that he wouldn't fall for it. with everything that I'm worth. If it's the last thing I do, he'll pay. He will... That's your balance. You can cash it tomorrow. I need to take Debbie home. Yeah. 
again. You may not win the voice and you haven't yet. Yeah, that may be so, but... So why are you hesitant? Because what you're suggesting is completely crazy. Oh, Vicky, there are crazier people who do crazier things to get paid, even less than you. Do you always have to bring it down to that? Oh, yes. Wait. So, what's in it for you? Well, you see, Vicky, I live where the money makers live. And you know, wherever there's money, there's always drama. I know this woman. Okay, I have a large clientele in Lagos, Abuja, I even have friends outside the country. All you need to do is do what you know how to do best. Again, as you know, women have friends that have friends. I, I like to call it uh, a network. Hold on a second, wait. Are you saying we're supposed to run this like what, some sort of company? Yes. It's business, baby. <laughs> Does that make you my him? Uh. Okay, so... Say I were to agree to this, what's your end? Well, Vicky, um, I am a businesswoman, okay? And this looks like a very good business to invest my time, which I really don't have, and um, my very precious contacts. So, I get 30% out of every deal that we make. Wow, this is crazy. Yes, but absolutely comfortable. I mean, they are drug dealers, they are con artists, they are prostitutes, they are even ritualists. We are not hurting anybody. If anything, we are actually helping them. It depends on how you see it though. But, Vicky, if there's anybody who's at risk, that will be you. Okay.
just a woman And she's got her pride No, oh, yeah Better not take her Take her for a ride No, no She's got a dangerous side On the inside If she brings it out Brings it out You'll run and hide So beware how you treat her, don't maltreat her, oh, she can be sweet as can be, but she can also sting like a bee. Mind, okay, I was here sitting and watching do your thing, and it kind of reminds me of a sex yellow berry in the beach scene. Die on this day. I do, huh? Yeah. Oh, thank you. So beware the decisions that you make about her. Cause when her back's against the wall, oh. She doesn't want to fall She will do anything and everything To stand tall There's a woman for you I know what you do And I want you to do the same for me Don't play dumb with me. Listen to me. I'll call you tomorrow to tell you what to do. I know Rookie says not to worry, but I can't help it. I mean, she's checked all her contacts, her friends, and no one knows who this mystery woman is. My biggest fear right now is getting exposed because there's been a lot of divorces lately and most of them have my fingerprints all over them.
Miss Joan. What do you want? Your services. I'm listening. For two million naira. Why? Why what? Why two million? Is he ugly? No. Bald and fat? No, no. Then why? Because he won't cheat on me. There must be something special about you if he does. So, you deserve the amounts if you get results. Well, let me assure you, I always get results. The money is not a problem. Don't get spooky. I know it's far more than the mere 600k you get per job. How did you get my number? Because my contact does not know you. Vicky, concentrate on the job. How do we meet? No, we won't meet. I do not work like that. <laughs> you say you don't work like that. Vicky, I have you where I want you. You make no mistake. If you do, I will expose you. If you fail, I will expose you. So you are going to do this job and you will do it right. Joan, or whatever you call yourself, this is sounding more like blackmail to me. Yeah, get results for the betterment of the border force. <laughs> okay, fine. Send me his pictures, his timeline, his routine, his contacts, his phone number, his email addresses, everything about him. I'll send this in an hour time. What just happened? <laughs> this girl knows more about me.
<laughs> wow. <coughs> wow. That was rather spectacular. Uh, I don't know about spectacular though, but that was kind of close. <laughs> but then again, I did say that my name was Victoria, right? Mm, I remember that. <laughs> All right, Victoria, it was nice playing a game of chess with you. I would rather return now to my personal play. No talking because I like to think while I play. I don't mean to be rude, okay? Is this man for real? So after I don't bust my head on top of this matter, this guy is going to sit here and ignore me. No, 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 that can't happen. No. That is not good for business. Especially with that his wife, Joan, or whatever her name is, on my case. Nah, plan B. Time to pull out the big guns. Your wife paid me to sleep with you. What? Yeah. Exactly what you heard. Your wife, Joan. That's her name, by the way. Joan. She paid me to have sexual relations with you. Why? How much? Upfront cut, two million. Are you serious? You wake up at six o'clock in the morning on the dot. You get to your office at six fifteen. 6.17 at the latest, you stay in your office till 1 o'clock when you come here to have lunch and a quiet game of chess. You are here till 2 o'clock when you go home. You spend time with your wife. I don't know what you people do. Um, then 5 o'clock, you get into your study because you like to research or read your newspaper or whatever it is that you do. You drive your Acura ZDX every day of the week from Monday to Friday. Well, except weekends. That's the Mercedes. Yeah. Um, well, that's on, except on Sundays because on Sundays you like to stay home. That's okay. Why are you telling me this? Your wife is blackmailing you and she's trying to screw you over for God knows whatever reason. Look, I've studied you and I'm sitting here talking to you. You seem like a fantastic guy, so I don't know whatever you did to deserve this. Okay, but we have to figure out a way to pay her back. Help me out here. Joan pays you to sleep with me. But you obviously don't want to sleep with me. No, I would rather not. Why is that? I don't know. Look, that's not the point. Look, the point is not about me sleeping with you now. The point is us paying her back. Wait a minute. My wife is blackmailing you and at the same time, he's screwing me over. Exactly. I knew it. I always suspected. You see, before we got married, a little bird told me that she had this lover boy she was with, but he was a broke ass. Oh. So it's, it's not difficult putting two and two together. Oh, wow. Jane. Jane married me for the money. They never really got to trust women in any way. I'm sorry. Now, Victoria, here's the deal. I'm going to give you exactly what Jane wanted from me. My money. I'll pay you double what she promised you. Send me your account details and it's a done deal. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Nice uh, doing business with you. I'll send that text immediately. I, I wish you all the best. Good luck. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> Hello. Hi, Paul. Yes, yes, I just got the alert right now. Thank you very much. And again, I wish you the best of luck. Okay, bye now. <laughs> and I do not have to sleep with him. Vicky, has she called you yet? Uh, yes, she has. And I've settled it. Okay. Well, I guess that should do then. Uh, yeah, I did the job, but not the way she asked. I can't have scored. Vicky! Vicky, calm down. Everything is fine, okay? Look, I'm on my way to prospect the client right now. I'll go call you later, give you gist, okay? <gasps> okay. All right, darling. Later. Trashed my house. What? She was in my house. She... Who? Find her. Find her, Rookie, because if I find her, I swear to God I will kill her. I trust you got my gifts. You can't across me, right? I am not done with you. You better watch your back. Watch it real hard. Take you to the hospital. No, 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 hospital, please, no hospital. Look, it just probably just looks worse than it is. The, the, the swelling will go down some tomorrow. Okay, fine. Tomorrow. Listen, I, I called to tell you that we found out who she was. It's actually a friend of a friend. Don't worry about it. We already took care of her. What do you mean by you took care of her? Like, I hope you beat that stupid idiot's face in. <laughs> no, Vicky. 
You took such a great risk trying to count across her like that. Yeah, I was angry. So? At least you could have spoken to me first. Well, I didn't have a plan, okay? It just came to me on the spot. Oh, God. It came to me on the spot. You know what I mean? I caused this. Forgive me. Oh God, please don't be so melodramatic, okay? Look, every job has its risks. I, I knew that going in. Well, made some good money though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh come on! Oh my God, you didn't even love my mom. Don't oh. please take you to the hospital, please. Oh. No, I don't want to go to the hospital. Don't give me the trouble. <laughs> I hate that stupid. She's spoiled my beautiful face. No, it's not. It will heal. It's not spoiled. I'm sorry. <laughs> Come here, be pressed by it. Thank you. Don't press my own forward. This almost cost me my life. This the scope. An easy way to make money and I almost lost my life over it. Victoria, it's time to make some changes. Okay, Ricky, please, out with it. You're making me nervous. It's just, this is just life, and life is messy. Look, we're all given a choice, a freedom to, to pick whatever battles we have to fight, and this is the one I chose. You made me an offer that I could have easily refused, but I did not because, you know, I was greedy. It was an easy way out. And then with Joan, it was just, that was just, you know, to get some cheap thrill out of, finding revenge and all for what all of that stuff just ended up in nothing well not absolutely nothing because you know I got all of this out of it but and I'm grateful but it's time to just end it I'm out <laughs> okay. a bottle absolutely Yes. Uh, bubbly mood, you, are you in the mood for some bubbly? Oh yes, sure. Always in the mood. Right. Okay. Uh, please allow me to do the hands. Absolutely. Okay, I hope I can remember how to do this. Be careful though. I'll try. If you don't to pop it into your eye. Uh, your eye is closer. <laughs> <laughs> So I might as well end it. Okay. I, Rookie, relieve you, Vicky, of your social 
liberation rights. Huh. Here's to a new beginning. Yeah. <laughs> new beginning. Mm. So, what are you going to do with yourself now? I don't know. Just make the most out of life. Have the most fun. Okay. And what about the big M? Marriage. Do you want to try again? Oh, um... About that... The truth? Yes. I mean, there's, there's absolutely nothing like having a man that you can exclusively call yours, a husband. I mean, I know men can be jerks most of the time, most, keyword most, <laughs> exactly. of the yeah. time. But they also serve their positive purposes. So yes. Yes, if I, if I do find love again, I'll definitely try. Hopefully I've learned my lesson and um, maybe I could get it right this time and, um, and have love forever. Yeah. And if you're lucky to find someone who stays true and faithful to you, then you might just have that forever. Oh, yes. It's just forever. <laughs> Absolutely. This has been a good one. Yes, it has. <laughs> Except that I got my face beaten. <laughs> I love that part, though. <laughs> I sound you. <laughs> You're just a wicked girl. And me, I just want to breathe. You know, this is the first time in a long time that I am taking the liberty to just acknowledge how beautiful life is. And yeah, okay, I know that when the right man finds me, I'm definitely not letting someone like who I was get between us. That's for sure. <laughs> Patience. Just a woman, and she's got her pride. Oh, yeah, better not take her, take her for a ride. No, no, she's got a dangerous side on the inside. If she brings it out, brings it out, you'll run and hide. Oh, so beware how you treat her. Don't maltreat her. Oh, she can be sweet as can be, but she can also sting like the bee. <laughs> 